I heard the phrase after the game against Arsenal used that Liverpool need a spark. What do you feel? You Who need? said that? Didi Haman. Is, is oh, he's great. He's a fantastic source. <laughs> I'm just well, I'm well just, respected everywhere. Former Liverpool midfielder, obviously. Achieved that doesn't give Liverpool. you the right to say what you want, especially when you have no idea. But I'm asking you, what do you feel that you need? I mean, where do you see a spark if it's a spark that you need I actually from? think I actually think Didi Hamann doesn't deserve that you what is that now that you what is that to use his phrase to ask me a question do me a favor and ask your own question okay that's good we, we won't use that phrase then, but I, I feel what, what what is it you feel try to use, that, that ask you need? a question without the word spark that's the <laughs> challenge now huh? no spark in there what is it you feel though that you need just to get that momentum going Jürgen because we see you taking a step forward we saw that in the first game against Rangers uh, we saw that in the game against Ajax but obviously the results in the Premier League haven't fit, haven't haven't followed on from that what is, what is it you feel that, that you need within this we have to, to get keep we have to keep again. fighting it will not happen overnight and especially not when you look at an Arsenal game I know people don't want to hear that but I think when on Sky Sport the ref watch when Mr Dermot twice says the decision was wrong by the best English referee, Michael Oliver. One penalty was no penalty, and because before the season we had a, a big meeting with the refs and they said no soft penalties anymore. So, and it was a penalty we got. So then we saw the season already, which kind of situations we had for handball, and there were penalties with exactly the same situation, but not in this game. But Mr. Dermot, not to forget, thought, yes, this is a penalty. The first goal, how I heard now, of Arsenal was pretty likely offside. We just cannot find out because the camera was not there or the angle, well, whatever. I don't know exactly the reason. But when I saw the picture, I thought it's obvious that Saka came back from the offside position. So now we talk about this game, and 100%, we, play, we, we conceded silly goals, especially the, the, the second one in the first half. But be, between the first and the second goal, we played again against the team in form in the league, a really good game. Um, but we're two one down. Second half, we get out, score our second goal, and um, open game. Be not as good as in the first half, but open game. And then there happens a penalty, which was not a penalty. And from that moment on, we had to chase the game, and Arsenal could counter attack, and they had obviously then better situations. That's all true. Um, but it's difficult to judge that game really, so that we don't play our absolute best football. I saw that. But again, the team, we, we played away against the team in form in the league, first in the table. Great team, top, really good players, all good. But we lost it in the way we lost it. And now it's difficult to judge. So what do we miss in this specific game? Just the right ref decisions would have been helpful, to be 100% honest. Uh, and then we can judge the game new. But then when if we win that game for the outside world, our problems are completely sorted. Um, we know it's not like that. Now we lost the game and three players. That's obviously exactly the opposite of what should have happened. But the only thing we can do is to, to keep fighting. And that's what we will do. And everybody who wanted to see it could see it. We, we, we fought against Arsenal really hard.